Welcome to the Web Interactive Demonstration. In this demo, we'll create interactive content that can then be used in a web layout. Let's start by taking a look at our document. If we navigate through, we can see we have a menu on the left, several pages of interactive content, an interactive form page, and on our final page, we see a blank spot. On this page, we'll add an interactive element created in an interactive layout space. So we'll go to our tab at the bottom to our interactive layout called Snow Video. On page one of this layout, there are some elements we need to make interactive. In the upper right, we're going to program this Swift object to take us to page two in our Flash layout. So we'll start by clicking on the object, then naming it in the interactive palette under the Object tab. We'll call it Video Click. It's a basic object, no options, initially at home. Under the Event tab, we'll set the Click Up to Action Display Next Page. We'll put a transition of Fade, Transparent Out with a two second duration. Now let's preview the Swift element. Click on our area and our second page displays back to the layout and we'll go to page two. We're going to have this red dot pattern over here playing along a curving path. So we start out by naming the path. We'll call it dots path and make it a basic object, no options, initially at home. Next, we'll select our dots and we'll call them dots gray. Object type here is an animation and it's going to be an item on a path. So we select our path that we've just created. We want this animation to happen automatically without user interaction. So we'll make a small script to control it. We'll go to our script tab and write a new script called dots play. Then our action is animation, play on a path, object is dots gray, the path is dots path, and our speed is four seconds. There are no special sequence or frame rates. Direction is forward, and we'd like the animation to loop. Now that we've created our script, we need to attach it to a page. Under our page tab, we can select page two and select our entry script as dots play. Now let's preview this element. We can see that our script plays our dots on a path. Now we'll go in and add a video as well as programming our stop, play, and pause buttons. We'll start by naming the object snow video. Object type is video. The video itself comes from an external reference. We'll name it snow video and navigate to select our file, then click OK. Then under Options, we select None and initially at Home. We will not select Click to Play Pause. We'll do that with our buttons that we want to program right now. Go to the Event tab and select Button Pause. When the user clicks up, we want to pause video and we select our file, Snow Video. Let's repeat for the Play and Stop buttons, giving them the corresponding actions. On the stop button, select stop video, select one video, and choose our file snow video. Let's preview this Swift and see how it's going. Our animation is working and we can click on our buttons to control the video. Back from the preview now, and we'd like to have this video element available as a web object. So we go to Layout, Advanced Layout Properties, select Share Layout, This Project Only, and click OK. The Snow video is now available in our shared content palette within our page. If we go back to our interactive layout to our empty page, we can simply drag and drop our Snow video object right onto the page. Let's preview the page and see how it works. 
We see it's embedded in the page, our animation is working, and our buttons control the video. And that's how we can place an interactive layout within a Quark web layout. And that concludes this demonstration.